Alan, initially a small group of protesters gathered at Chicago police headquarters and then the group grew as it marched through the Bronzeville neighborhood. Protesters were there to express their outrage and anger over the decision in the Breonna Taylor case. They say it reflects deep injustices in policing across the country, including here in Chicago. They are protesting and marching again. It hurts me that, you know, that she didn't get the justice that she deserved. But they don't want to be. They want to be home with their families. They actually want to live in a world where Breonna Taylor is here, safe at home with her family. As the officers who shot and killed Breonna Taylor walk free, unindicted, their freedom is a rally cry and a round of fresh demands for racial justice. When we see such inhumanity uh, justified by our legislators, by our system, I think that like we always have to be shocked and outraged. We are all human beings. We all want the same thing. We all want to be treated the same way. From police headquarters, protesters march entirely peacefully. After some protests turned to violent unrest and then looting this summer, Chicago has moved to try to keep the peace. The National Guard are backup. Uh, they are a support mechanism for all of the frontline police officers. As we've seen, if people step over the line, we'll be ready and we are ready. Another group of protesters gathered in Millennium Park and marched through the streets of the Loop, also demanding justice. They ended here at Federal Plaza, where they held a demonstration. But tonight, all of this has remained entirely peaceful, and now protesters and police have now all dispersed. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.